Hello all. Today we are going to see about the working of airbag in the course automotive systems. Airbag. So, why do we need an airbag? An airbag is one of the safety feature that are equipped in the modern vehicles. There are different kinds of airbags nowadays equipped in the modern vehicle. An airbag is a uh, it is a vehicle occupant restraint system using uh, bag designed to inflate extremely quick or quickly uh, uh, to uh, deflate and inflate uh, during and after a collision. So it consists of a cushion, a flexible uh, fabric bag, an inflation module and an impact sensor. So this is what the uh, need uh, today's need for airbag. In olden days and all, uh, the airbag uh, uh, there uh, was not equipped in the vehicle. So what happens is uh, the driver's chest directly uh, hits on the steering and uh, uh, the internal parts or the uh, there may be many injuries and uh, fatalities uh, during accident. In order to uh, prevent uh, the injuries, uh, the airbag is the ma main uh, component uh, that are equipped in the vehicle. This airbag uh, uh, provides a safety as well as uh, uh, it protects the uh, human being from injuries uh, while uh, the vehicle meets accident. So the main component here is that uh, the SRS stands for the supplementary restraint system. You can see here in the image, uh, there are uh, different uh, kinds of airbags. On the top image, you can see uh, the driver airbag, uh, the side airbag, the curtain airbag, the knee airbag. There are different kinds of airbags uh, that are equipped in nowadays. Basically, uh, in, a, in the past decade, uh, only airbag driver for uh, is provided. Only airbags for the drivers is provided. Nowadays, uh, the airbag uh, next stage, the airbags are provided for all the passengers. And today we we have the curtain airbag, the side airbag, the knee airbag, etc., etc. So that uh, it protects the all the passengers uh, uh, in the event of uh, accident. So these are the major components you can see here. The indicator SRS indicator that is supplementary restraint system. Uh, there is an impact sensor which is loaded in the front of the vehicle. So this impact sensor. Uh, is mounted not only in the front and uh, uh, different positions of the vehicle in order to uh, determine uh, the vehicle uh, undergoes an accident or the uh, accident may occur. This sensor uh, senses the event and uh, it uh, inflates the mechanism uh, so that uh, the airbag opens within a millisecond uh, so that uh, it prevents the injuries uh, during a crash. So this is a G4 sensor uh, that is used here, G sensor, uh, the impact sensor, uh, airbags, front airbag, side airbag, knee airbag. So there is a relay box uh, which is in the uh, airbag unit. The side impact sensor, side curtain airbag. So these are the different components of the airbag. So the working, uh, you can see the left hand side image, uh, these are the main components that are uh, inside that steering column. Uh, the crash sensor which detects the crash and it uh, inflates uh, uh, the inflate, sends signal to the inflator. This inflator uh, inflates the airbag. So the inflator, uh, you can see in the right hand side image, it inflates the nitrogen gas. Okay, uh, there is a sodium uh, chemical called sodium acide uh, which reacts along with the nitrogen gas. So that uh, when the igniter ignites, uh, creates a spark, uh, the inflator uh, suddenly expands that uh, chemical reaction. Uh, because of this, uh, the airbag uh, gets open. So this is how the mechanism is deployed uh, the vehicles uh, in order to activate the airbag. So this is uh, a working uh, diagram. You can see here the pole piece, cylinder, seal, terminal, contact points that are gold plated. Terminal again, the magnet, housing. It's an actuating mechanism which actuates the airbag. So there are different operating conditions under normal condition and during an accident you can see uh, the normal condition you can see as it is the crash sensor is its own position. The control unit, uh, the inflator unit, uh, the concealed airbag. So it is in the concealed part. And you can see the right hand side image that during an accident uh, the crash sensor detects the accident and it uh, creates that uh, chemical uh, 
uh, explosion you because of the chemical explosion uh, the ke chemical uh, chemicals inflate the air bag so that is a nitrogen gas and the sodium aside so there are different types of airbags you can see the frontal airbag which is in the front side of the vehicle uh, for the driver it is mounted on the steering and for the uh, people occupant who is uh, uh, seating uh, nearer to the driver uh, is positioned uh, the airbag is kept in the uh, dashboard this is a side airbag which protects the head injuries uh, during the accident uh, these uh, side airbags are uh, Equipped uh, are placed in the roof of the side roof of the vehicle. So this is a knee airbag uh, which also protects the occupants and the drivers uh, uh, in, uh, by preventing the leg injuries. So that is what uh, the main uh, uh, motto of this uh, knee airbags. So inflatable seats, you can see the image on the second occupant whose seat got inflated in order to prevent the collision. That inflatable seats are nowadays like an airbag, the seat itself gets inflated. That white color thing you can see on the right hand side of this, the second image, you can see that the cross seat belt, you can see that it is inflated inflatable seats right it is a, co a combination of airbag and the vehicle seat belt right so this is uh, used to protect uh, in, uh, during the uh, event of the crash so that's it about the working of airbag and we will meet in the next session thank you